Good morning, sunshines. It is Tuesday, the 1st of June, 2021. And this is episode 15 of Bunnyfish Crafts. I'm your host, Heather, known as Bunnyfish, on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. And I am walking to work today. So I work at a school, and my children are conspicuously absent because today is a PD day. So um, it feels a little weird. So I had this dream this morning that my, that I looked at my phone, like Patrick got up and he went out into the hallway and Mara was awake and, uh, Ooh, there's a whole, there's a whole limb down. Do you see that? Distraction. So Patrick saw Mara, Mara saw him. They were like, oh, hi. And I looked at my phone and it was 740. And today I have to be at work at eight. So I started having a panic attack. Not a panic, it's not quite a panic attack, but like almost. And I started like getting up and rushing to get ready. And then I woke up, it was 4.35 in the morning. That's what I get for sleeping in until eight yesterday on a Monday, which is, kind of a school day, but not. So anyway, I'm walking into work right now. Patrick was gonna drive me, but they went to do, they, oh, Patrick and my kids did beautiful landscaping stuff in my yard yesterday. So they used the car. When they got home, Patrick left the keys in the ignition and the lights on, so my battery's dead. Luckily we have like a portable charger thing, so he'll be able to jump the car to drive himself to work. He works significantly farther from home than I do, but that's my day. I'm gonna do some spinning, and then when I get to school during PD, I will be knitting on a sock. I'll show you that when I get there. Something I didn't expect to see on my walk to school Just a couple vultures, you know, like literal vultures. Hey, sunshines. It is Tuesday afternoon. I am home from Staff PD. Um, the kids have done their chores. I have two loads of laundry going, one in the wash, one in the dryer, and then my chore for the day is done. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read. So last night after I finished... What was I reading? Here it is. Um, How to Find a Princess. Very enjoyable. I read it in a day. Did I start it yesterday or did I start it the night before? If I started it the night before, I only got like four pages in before I fell asleep. So I read it in a day. <laughs> um, when I finished that, I started Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Did I tell you that How to Find a Princess is by Alyssa Cole, who I love the romance stories of. So this is two women, and um, it's very good. They, the It's part of the Reluctant Royals, Runaway Royals, oh, Runaway Royals um, series. Is this different then? I thought the other one was Reluctant Royals. So this must be a new semi-related series. Am I right about this or am I lying? Let's see now. Yeah, see there's a Reluctant Royals, which I've read all of those. And I've read the Runaway Royals also. So Reluctant Royals and Runaway Royals are, um, they're related, but not the same series, I guess. I didn't realize that before. Anyway, um, That's good. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say is that it's good. I love Alyssa Cole's characters because they're full people and they're interesting and um, yeah, they're really good. So highly recommend. Okay, now on to Clap When You Land. So I started this last night. I'm pr about 90 pages in now because I read it this morning when... I woke up from that nightmare, so I think I'm going to read this today. Um, during 
during PD, during meetings and stuff, I was able to work on the sock. So I am two rounds away from starting the heel. This is my pattern. It's called Under Armour. So I'm going to get through the heel while reading and then um, I don't know if I'll continue to work on this or not. So it is June. That means two things, as I mentioned in the last video. So the ZK is in 22 days. Yay! The ZK knit along is still going for, I think, until the 18th. I don't know if that's correct. I'm not sure. I could be a liar. Um, but I think it's until then. I'll know eventually when, you know, I get an email that says everything needs to be submitted by X date. I'm usually pretty good about submitting things, but I haven't submitted the um, recalibrate top yet because I wore it, but I wore it unblocked and I want to wear it blocked because the fit will be different. Um, I was just too excited to not wear it on my birthday. So I have to submit that and then I'm so close to done on the shawl. I'm on the border, but I had to rip back because I didn't have enough yarn to do what I wanted to do, so I altered it a little. I m think I have enough yarn. Um, so I could theoretically finish that today. But what I really want to work on is scrappy projects because I haven't worked on scrappy projects since December because since... Um, since January. I've been all ZK all the time. So I think, I think I might start working on scrappy projects again because all the small things is coming up. There will be a separate video, but that's coming up and it's going to start on, um, June 18th will be the first day because that's the last day of school for me. And it will run through, the f I don't know, something of August. That'll be in the video. But I'm feeling the itch to work on scrappy projects. I really, really want to work on scrappy projects. So I think, I think I'm going to. Um, I do not have the most yardage for everybody at the ZK, but I do have the most yardage for my team. My team is not in first place. But I really want to work on scrappy projects. So that's what I'm going to do. It's, you know, I'm still going to be working on, like, this sock is going to be what I take with me to work as my pocket knitting. So I'll be taking that. And then I'll probably start another something to work on at school. So at least two more projects. Well, so the shawl, recalibrate these socks, and then one more project. So four more projects going towards ZK yardage. But it's just a game. So what I think I'm going to work on is, and I worked on it a little bit this morning, is my blanket for me, my blue and green blanket that... um the yarn had to have blue and green and just drop some stitches, whatever had to have blue or green in the yarn of any type of quantity. So if it was, let's see, there's nothing on top that's obvious, but like if it was a yellow yarn, but it had like blue speckles in a couple places that counted. So I finished the squares for this in December, but I've set it aside and now I kind of just want to pull it out and work on it. So I think I'm going to work on that. I might make a mitered square today. I'm really kind of feeling like I want to do that. So yeah, the ZK knit along is fun, but I want it to stay fun. I don't want to like feel like I'm a slave to the knit along. So I'm going to start doing some scrappy knitting in the evenings because I'll work on like actual projects during the day when I, you know, when I'm at school <laughs> and I need something to do so I can focus, but 
they need to be small so they can't be scrappy blankets. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I theoretically could make flowers at school, but they they would be too fiddly, I think, because you know that I have the center motif. Those don't take very long to make, so they would be I would be cutting all the time and weaving in ends on those all the time and then doing the outer rounds doesn't take very long. So again, cutting ends, weaving in ends, I think it would be too fiddly. So work on ZK projects at school. Just socks, I'm sure. Maybe a hat, but um, like I did recalibrate at school, but I don't have another sweater or top or something that I want to make. Molly says, no, don't do another sweater. All right, I will maybe check in with you later. It's really weird trying to check in when Patrick's here because in the evenings, like I had been checking in with you at bedtime, but he's in here playing video games at bedtime. So that's why May, the end of May was just really bad for checking in. I'll try to get better. I'll see what I can do. So yeah, happy June. Do you remember this vase of yarn from um, Advent season in December? And I said I wanted to use all the yarn in the first quarter. What was I thinking? I don't work on my scrappy projects during the first quarter. So I'm going to pick one and use it today. One of the ones on the top. I'm not digging. So we'll take this. And ba -da -ba -da, time to put this in blanket. All right, friends. It's basically bedtime on Tuesday. And you remember how... A few hours ago, I was like, mm, I don't want to cast on new things for the ZK, blah, blah, blah. Lies. Those were lies. <laughs> I'm just I'm telling you right now, those were lies. Uh, let me flip you around so you can see some things. First, we'll take a moment to appreciate that I did get through the heel flap and turn on this sock. So yay. Good job, me. That was one of my goals. I also made... Um, I used that mini skein to make two squares and a flower, and I'm going to use the rest in my nor'easterly. I think I'm going to take that project with me to the ZK. Not the whole blanket, just the little new part that I cast on at the beginning of the year, and maybe 12 or so mini skeins so that I have something super mindless. Um... So, yeah, I, I did that. But then I was thinking that I needed a giant shawl. So these three skeins are going together. I don't know if they're going together in this order or in this order. I think I'm leaning towards this order. Yeah, so I'm going to make a giant shawl and try to finish it in two weeks. I'm going to make, uh, I think it's called The Haze by Josh Ricks. And these two yarns are 716 knit. And this one is Leading Men Fiber Arts. So that's in the plan. And then I needed a backup plan for socks because what if this... Now that I'm going to be working on it more, since I don't have, theoretically, don't have other projects except for this giant shawl that I'm going to make in two weeks. I'm nuts. I don't know if I can do that. I'm going to try really, really hard, though. Um, so I have a backup plan for socks. Um, so I'm going to do this. This is Shipwreck, Shipwrecked Sheep, not a ZK Dyer. But um, my friend... And this is the astronaut. It's one of her um, one of her charity colors that goes to help out LGBTQ people. I don't remember what the purple, um, white and gray or black flag who that represents. I just know that my sister will like these as socks, and it's a sport weight, so yeah, 
there'll be a quick finish if I, um, if I have extra time. And then I came up with another contingency plan because do you recall on my bingo board, which I haven't talked about since I made it basically, um, one of my goals was to use up 20 ZK skeins. Well, I have all of my ZK leftovers in this bag. Uh, technically, these two yarns aren't ZK yarns. I just put them in there because I used them for ZK projects. They won't count toward the total. But what I'm thinking is, if, if I make all of this and finish the shawl that I'm working on, then I am going to pull out um, the bigger leftovers. I, I think this, this, and um, I can't tell what this is. And this, I should be able to get single shorty socks out of. And I have said before that I don't need... Um, my shorty socks to match. I just need more shorty socks. So yeah, that's my contingency plan. What is that yarn? Oh, that's the, this is the leftover lace weight from Sorrel. And here's the leftover gray. So I can definitely add gray heels and toes to any of those socks to make them work. is that okay let's look at all the colors okay so here are the yarns that were in the bag um, these are not technically ZK yarns so I'm not going to like these don't count toward the 20 um, but these ones would I think that I could make I'm pretty sure I can make a coordinating pair of shorty socks out of these. Like, this should be enough to make two pair. I haven't weighed it, but I think so. I think it only takes me about 46 grams to make a pair of shorties, so I think this would. I haven't weighed this, but I th think that this is about 30 grams, so probably one sock out of this. I think this is about the same, so one sock out of that, one sock out of this maybe with contrasting toes, and one sock out of that. And these are, these, okay, so this one is not enough yardage. Uh, this is a sport or worsted, I can't remember, it's the Fiber Nymph Dye Works uh, New Year's Color. And then this doesn't have any nylon in it, so I'm not going to use this for socks. But so that would be two, three, four, five, six shorties. Um, if I devoted all of my time between now and ZK, I could probably make a shorty sock out of six sort shorty socks by then. But I'm not going to because I'm making a giant shawl. So yeah, I will probably pick out you know one. Or two of these balls to make shorty socks with um, before the end of the ZK knit along. Maybe if I have time. Maybe I should do this instead of, okay, changing my mind. I'm not going to do the, um, the shipwreck sheep. I'm not going to do that. I will take that as my ZK knitting because it's sport weight, so it'll be. A little bit faster and I can come home with a finished pair of um, Christmas socks so I will make these my my backup um, sock knitting for the rest of the month yeah that'll be good and then I wonder how much yarn is here I wonder if I could make a pair of each of these, like a pink pair of shorties and a green pair of shorties, or if I could just get one of each. I don't remember how much yarn I used from them. That was a long time ago. That was back in January. But I do have this pretty substantial um, 
skein that I can use for heels, toes, and cuffs, and I would really like all of this to be gone, to be used up and out of my stash. Um, this might stick around for spinning for next CK for core spinning, and then this is worsted, so, you know, so this must be worsted. So those are worsted. Maybe they could be used together in something, maybe not, I don't know. Oh, my mind is going so fast right now trying to think of possible things to do. Hey friends, I'm at the yarn shop, getting ready to turn on the lights and open up. So today's tasks include winding four skeins of yarn, pricing and turning some skeins into hanks of, I don't know, a lot of skeins of yarn. I'll show you that. And general shop maintenance stuff. My sister's not here yet. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she's just a couple minutes late. But usually if she's a couple minutes late, it means she's not coming. Okay, so I really want this skein of yarn for me. And I've already wound five skeins of yarn for customers today. So I'm going to wind this. And then I have more skeins to wind for customers. And I actually have three more in that bag right now. But these are all for me. And these are all, this is going to be for ZK knitting. This is going to be for ZK knitting. This is also probably going to be for ZK knitting. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind this for me and then I'm going to go work on the yarn to get it out. And then I will alternate between winding shop yarn and winding yarn for myself because I hate winding yarn. So I feel like I need to be rewarded. Hey sunshines. So it's Thursday and I'll record when I get to class but we are running out to get food because it's hot. I don't want to cook. Also I have to teach and it was kind of a rough day. Not terrible but just rough at school. I imagine the next two and a half weeks or two weeks and one day are going to be rough at school because the kids are over it, but it'll be fine. But I did some knitting today, so I'll show you that shortly after we get food and I drop my family back at home and go to work. All right, friends, it's Thursday night and I said earlier today I would give you an update and then I didn't. So you get this. So today I was here this morning. And I knit the rest of the foot on my under armor and Kitchenered the toe. I just need to weave in the end. I probably won't do that until tomorrow. No, I definitely won't do that till tomorrow. I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. So the yarn is Kitten Poker by 716 Knit. The pattern is Under Armor by me. And I promise that on the foot, it looks normal. It just looks weird because of the... Um, the nature of the fabric that's created. So yeah, I really like it. I'll talk more about it when it's finished and you can see it on a foot. So I also did some spinning today. I finished the ball of fiber that I started yesterday and attached this ball of fiber. I only have four balls of fiber to go. So if I work diligently, hopefully I can have the singles finished by a week from tomorrow. I mean, hopefully sooner, but I'm going to shoot for a week from tomorrow. And that way I will have time to ply and let things rest and then knit something before the ZK. Because there's only like 
20 days until ZK. Yay! Super excited. The other thing that I worked on is this shawl. So this yarn is 716 knit. Um, it's 716 sock and the the name of the colorway could possibly be offensive so I'm not going to say it but I am going to put it on the screen in five four three two one so this morning I was at these little green stitch markers I put these in because this shawl has short rows so I wasn't sure if you would be able to see the depth that was knit without markers all the way around. So can't really see it because it's all bunched up on this 16 inch circular. I might, I'll probably put it on a bigger needle tomorrow. And by bigger needle, I just mean change out the cable on these interchangeables. So yeah. It's going. I really, really wanted a giant shawl. I told you about this. I told you about wanting a giant shawl. So this is my first color of yarn. I am making Haze by Josh Rick Serbinski. P.S. Friends, he's one of my best friends, and I don't know that I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible person about names. I should ask him how he says his last name. Um, I will, in person. Anyway, yeah, that's the progress on this shawl. I'm hoping to make a good deal of progress tomorrow. We are going to my sister's house for dinner, which means I don't have to cook and I don't have to drive. So, because she's picking up me and my kiddos and her kiddo from school tomorrow. So yay, I should get pretty good progress on this. Talk to you tomorrow. One of my coworkers' father, one of my coworkers, their father passed away. I don't know how to make that grammatic. <laughs> grammatic. Yeah, okay. That's that kind of day. Um, but anyway, passed away. So I am making a cart for them. So we are watching a movie in my classroom today. This is where I'm starting. Did I just get ink on the back? No. So I'll put in a picture of, an, of the end. Maybe progress shots if I take them. No promises. In case anyone was wondering what I come to my sister's house for, it's her new puppy. Well, he's a year old, but you know, he's a puppy. A giant puppy with a really hard head. What are you doing? Good morning sunshines it is Saturday morning and I'm just popping in really quick to show you what I did yesterday just a few rows Let's see I think yeah the other side had short rows so there's more growth on this side so just I don't know maybe a section of the shawl yesterday and I cast on this sock yesterday morning and I'm I think I'm approximately halfway through the leg. So just a little progress update, but the big thing is I was, am 
still reading Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Did I say that right? I'm always going to wonder now. Um, but I'm going to put it aside. I'm about halfway through that. I'm going to put it aside for right now because this book... Because this book is due back on the 7th. Today's the 5th. So it's the weekend. I should have pretty decent reading time. Um, I do have to work today, but then we are going to the beach. And I don't have to be in charge at the beach. I mean a little bit, but we're going to go see my sister at the beach. So, you know, the kids can all be in charge of each other. Um, so yeah, I can read this at the beach and then I don't have any plans tomorrow. We're not going to my mom's. So hopefully I can finish it Monday. Even if I finish it, you know, before I go to teach my Monday class and drop it off on my way there or on my way home from Monday class, that'll be good. How many pages are in here? Uh, just around 300, looks like. So that should be doable. We mostly have the beach to ourselves this morning. It's early though, so I'm sure, you know, the people who don't get to the beach at 8 a.m. will be on their way soon. But yeah, it's just us right now and another family. And my daughter should be reading. Come on, Mom. I love the outdoors. First of all, no you don't. Because you always complain when we go camping. Second of all, it's reading time. The rule is that we read while we wait for sunblock to sit in. If we don't do other things, we read. So she's supposed to be reading. I brought all of these to the beach today because I think we're staying for, I don't know, until the kids want to go, but at least several hours because we don't have air conditioning, it is hot at home, we brought snacks and foods and stuff, but anyway, I only have maybe 15 pages left of 10 things I hate about me. I'm not actually going to read this because I listened to it on audiobook, The Disturbed Girl's Dictionary by Monica Ramos, Nonica. I don't know how to say that. Um, should know, they probably said it in the audiobook. It's a very good book. I checked it out of the library specifically so that the library would keep it in rotation longer. <laughs> so, very good. Um, so I'm not reading that. I have 10 pages left of this. And then I'm going to read Clap When You Land. I have about half of that to go. But I... But it's written um, as poetry. So it's not full, full pages. So I might finish that today. And if I do, I'm going to start The Changeling by Victor Lavalli. And while I'm doing all of that... I have the haze shawl, but I don't know where the pattern is. I can download it on my phone and just use that, but yeah, most likely I'll write out the next several rows just on a scrap piece of paper and carry that around because like I said, I don't know where the pattern is, but at least I know what section I'm in, even though I don't know what row I'm on. I have the um, Under Armour sock. I am getting close to the heel, but I'm not quite there yet. Maybe another less than 20 rounds, I think. I also started this sock. It's going to be a shorty, and it is super mindless, so um, I have something to work on while I'm reading if these other things are too much to do and I want to read and knit at the same time. I can work on that. I also have the heel color, but it's in my bag, and I have this spinning project. I would really like to get through this ball today. So I'm going to take spinning breaks, which is good because um, 
It will give my neck and shoulders a break from the looking down of reading a book and knitting. A little mermaid and a kayaker right now in the water. See him? <laughs> Hello, Mermaid Mara. You look very cool in your fun fin. Are you having fun? Awesome. I am. I have been taking a video the whole time I walked down. Uh huh. Well, this is what the pin looks like. Cool. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go sit down now. Love you. Bye. So I did finish Ten Things I Hate About Me by Rhonda Abdel Fattah. Really, mm, I, not really great, but like decent. Um, trigger warning, content warning though, the first scene of the book has racial slurs in it. The whole premise is that Jamie um, at school, this is what she looks like. She bleaches her hair. She wears blue contacts so that she is thought to be a typical Anglo descended um, Australian, but she's actually Lebanese. So it's kind of an interesting book. It's YA. There's a, a plot twist, but it's pretty predictable, but it's good. Not my favorite thing I've ever read, but not something I'd be like, oh, no, don't read that. Making so much noise back there. I also finished Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, made me cry at the end. It was really, really good. It's about two girls who share a father and they don't know it. And then he dies tragically. So really good. Really interesting to see their two different lives. One lives in New York, one lives in the Dominican Republic. Really, really good. And then I also started The Changeling by Victor Lavalle, but I'm not very far. Um, let's see, 29 pages in. So I'll be reading that for a little bit. Mm -hmm.